Today's topic is emotional healing for the belly, right? A very full topic, shall we say. I woke up this morning with my belly on fire. <laughs> as, as you know, as the wisdom would have it, I had an opportunity in that to go through the process that we're going to go through today. And I think you'll find it very healing. And uh, boy, I know it's one that we can all use, you know. What we're going to do today is have an opportunity to release a lot of the stuff that we hold in the belly. The vulnerable underbelly is that place where we hold so much of our emotions, our really intense emotions, emotions of, you know, fear, of the anxiousness, of the uh, worry, of anger of shame, of guilt, of, you know, the, all our insecurities. So we're going to do some specific work today to, um, to release some of that from ourselves and to put us into a settled and peaceful state. You know how when you've been through trauma, you've experienced trauma, in trauma healing, one of the things that we do is to settle into the body, settle the nervous system so that you can be peacefully present in your own skin. And so we're going to do that today with the belly specifically to help to, I mean, your belly is a huge, huge, huge part of your nervous system. The enteric nervous system is a huge, it, it's as, as, uh, um, as, as large, what's the word for, as your brain and spinal column. It's as significant to your body. And it's really, you know, it's a base reptilian part of your body in whatever kinds of uh, studies or experiences our, our medical and scientific world have had, they've discovered that even if your spinal column is severed, that your enteric nervous system continue, continues to work, right? Number one, it's keeping you alive. It processes your food and your nutrition, your nutrients and your uh, body's health, your immune system, your elimination and everything. So it does a heck of a lot of work there. And it's also, it's that base reptilian, you know, um, part of your development. So it's very significant to your sense of safety, your sense of connection, your sense of groundedness, your sense of, you know, connection to yourself. So anytime we experience trauma, what is trauma, but that separation from yourself, the things that separate us from ourself. And we experience that and we hold so much of that in the belly. And then, you know, I found in working with my own issues with ulcerative colitis, hypoglycemia, fibrocystic disease, ulcerative colitis, all in the belly. And, you know, it's inflammation. It's inflammation. It's screaming from the belly. And uh, all, it's what I found for myself is I had to release a lot of that emotions that I was holding in my belly as a part of my subconscious um, you know, subconscious holding in the belly. I wasn't aware of it. And I, it was expressing itself in the way it knew how to express. So it really can affect our digestive system, whether you have something as full blown out as ulcerative colitis, or, you know, this is March National Colorectal Cancer Awareness Month. If you have, you know, something as, as pronounced as one of those things, or as if you're you know, just experience a little discomfort now and then, or, you know, a, a irregularity, shall we say, that then, you know, our emotions are the way that we tense up in our belly, the way that we constrict our breath or restrict our breath from the belly. All of that has an impact on our ability to digest, our ability to assimilate foods and receive the nutrition from it, and to eliminate wastes and toxicity from the body so it's a very important part of our physical health and it's also a very important part of our emotional health our spiritual health our wellness our ability to to show up as we are with full and complete and total as best we can acceptance of ourselves and to stand in our truth and to really be in our bodies contained and holding the powerful ourselves as the powerful beings that we are here to do what we're here to do to uh, have the impact we're here to have to make the changes we're here to change to to just be 
to be what we're here to be and experience all that this life has to give to us. So uh, that is our topic for today. It's a very full topic, as we said, for our full bellies. And so let's go ahead and come into our meditation and healing circle. Let's come into our circle sitting side by side, shoulder to shoulder, elbow to elbow, knee to knee, coming together as one. In the name of the one most merciful, ever compassionate. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. And as we come together in our circle, let's bring everything to face toward the center. Right? And you know, as we call on our source, just imagine your source being a pure light and pure breath, pure existence right in front of you and bring everything you've got all of your senses your eyes ears nose mouth all of your focus and attention to be face to face with that source with that presence right in front of you so bring everything you've got to be face to face all of your senses all of your sensory awareness and perception and bring your throat also to face forward and to be present with this pure existence this pure light and let me just say this is an all-knowing all loving the one who loves you who knows you better than yourself than you know yourself this is the one who knows you better than you know yourself this is the one who loves you, who cherishes you, who is pure love, pure existence, right? If you've ever had any opportunity to even touch into that connected state, sometimes we, we get little glimpses of it where we feel pure existential love and pure existential compassion. And we sometimes we feel like we're floating in the cosmos. If you've ever had any any little inkling of that, that's what I'm talking about here. It's not sometimes we think of our source as a God that is, you know, a human figure that is from the like the human ego that's saying this is right, this is wrong, this is good, this is bad, this is what you're going to be rewarded for, this is what you're going to be punished for. And yet god is a force right god is a force that contains all of it and is pure love and mercy and compassion so let your entire being face toward this pure existential unconditional love and light and mercy and compassion and let let your heart center, the funnel of energy from the front of your chest, let that also face toward the front, directly to you. And just, just notice your breath. Notice your breath. And just let yourself breathe. Breathe. And just like, notice if this force in front of you has like a rhythm right a rhythm to it a pulsation because everything moves in waves everything energy is constantly moving right everything is energy it moves in waves it flows and so just let yourself as you sit face to face with it just begin to breathe with its rhythm or with your own rhythm right because it's a part of you it is you you have no existence without this so i'm saying face everything in front of you because this helps us to Kind of sometimes our attention can be in 15,000 different directions at one time. So let's bring your attention to that which is right in front of you and just breathe with it, right? And so let your breath get into a gentle rhythm, whatever feels right for you. And just let yourself flow with it, breathe with it. And if you don't know, just, you know, get a rhythm, get a rhythm and let yourself, you'll fall into it, right? Let's get some steady rhythm with your breath and again all of your eyes ears nose mouth 
head facing directly toward this pure light, your throat facing directly toward this pure light, your heart center facing directly toward this pure light. And let your heart center be like a breathing portal. So you're breathing in through your heart center and let your heart center breathe in that pure unconditional love yeah what dude that's the pure unconditional love let your heart center breathe that in and let it flow in through your heart all the way into the center into the core of your being And if you feel like you want to do some tapping along your heart to help it to release its constriction, you can do some thumping or tapping along your heart and from side to side up under your collarbones and also some gentle stroking on the sides of your neck to help that release from your jaw down your neck and your throat. And just let your breath breathe in that pure unconditional love into the center of your heart. As you exhale, let yourself release any of the constriction, the tension. Breathing that in. And exhale, release the tension. And each time you take a breath, let it be like, as it releases more and more of the tension, let your breath go deeper and deeper into the center of your chest. And let yourself elongate your spine and upright your spine. Breathe all the way into your center. Exhale, drop down and land into your hips. And let your conscious body like lean back into your physical body. Like you're leaning against your spine, back into your spine. And you're resting into that place behind your heart. And bring your breath all the way through your heart and into that vertical core that's at the very center of your body, halfway front to back, halfway side to side, that pure light that runs through the top of your head, all the way along and through the core of your body. You can feel that light going all the way through. And breathe that unconditional love in through your heart center all the way through to meet that light at your vertical core and as you exhale drop down and land into your hips and now your belly that ball of energy at the front of your belly space your hara let that turn toward the center of the circle facing toward the center of the circle and just invite it to be to be present and just notice, just be a witness, right? As you lean into the center of your body, you're landed in your hips, leaning back toward your spine, breathing that love in through your heart center, all the way into the very center of your core of your body. All right, let me say that again. Just take a breath and as you inhale, breathe all of your energy into your vertical core of your body. As you exhale, drop down, land into your hips, into your pelvic bowl, sit into your seat. And let your conscious body lean back into the space to the very, just in front of your spine, leaning back into your body and breathing that unconditional love in through your heart center and letting it flow into that vertical core just letting yourself like standing under a gentle waterfall of pure divine light streaming through you and unconditional love pouring into you and again as you exhale drop down and land into your pelvic bowl and let yourself be in a witnessing state so from here, you're bathing in unconditional light and receiving this gentle, 
unconditional love, right? Bathing in pure divine light and receiving this unconditional love and letting it flow through the whole core of your body. Just receive and receive and receive. And again, let yourself witness. And as your belly rests in the space with you, just notice what you notice. What do you notice about your belly space? As I mentioned today, and you may be able to tell if you've been with me for a while, I seem like <laughs> I kind of, I feel like I'm all over the place today. I hope it's not coming across that way. But I, as I said, at the beginning of the call and i woke up this morning my belly was on fire and my whole diaphragm was my upper diaphragm was like it was on fire and it was emotionally energetically on fire it doesn't feel like anything physical going on but just that like okay i <laughs> see we came prepared today for this so just notice what you notice and see if you can be in a witness state and notice without any judgment or any like, oh, this has to change, right? Because often when we approach the belly, we approach it with that, like we're full of judgment about what it should be, what it is, what it isn't. And the instant this has got to change, right? So see if you can let go of any of that need to change and just be in that witness state and accept your belly as it is. Invite it to be fully, completely present. Accept it as it is. Accepted as is. And you can take your arms and like hold your arms like you're cradling a baby and put them around your belly, around the, the lower abdomen or whatever feels like it might need some cradling and just cradle your belly and hold just enough gentle pressure on that space to give it a sense of security sometimes if you have a weighted blanket or just a blanket or a pillow or even a bag of rice or beans it can help to put place that over your belly to give it that extra sense of security let yourself hold that space give it that sense of security as you would a baby and let yourself let your belly just rest into your arms or feel the security of the blanket the pillow the bag whatever is the pressure on it and again just take a minute and witness just witness without trying to change your bellies do a lot of work for us let's see you might even if you need to um, be present with some sensation let yourself be present with gratitude as you're witnessing because our bellies hold a lot you know Bessel van der Kolk wrote the book your body keeps the score your belly keeps a lot of score right this isn't indicative of who you are we take on so many of our life experiences as defining moments of that define who we are it's not who you are it's more about where you've been and that's okay that's okay it's not even about where you are right now it's more about where you've been right so just be in a witness state loving accepting and in gratitude for all that your belly has done for you to keep you alive and to keep you safe to keep you functioning to keep you as healthy as you can be and holding all that it's had the opportunity to hold for you during your lifetime and just hold it just witness and we're going to start out with a ho'oponopono, which is a simple, it is a, uh, comes from the Hawaiian tradition, a beautiful story behind the ho'oponopono, an incredibly healing four-phrase prayer. 
and it begins with, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. So as you engage with your belly, let's see if you can turn your awareness, focus, your consciousness, again, not having to relive anything, but being present with in a witness state. And just you can feel the gratitude and the compassion in your heart. And turn that gratitude and compassion toward your belly. Right? This may be with intention, or maybe you can actually turn that heart center to face the belly space and hold that gratitude and compassion. And again, speaking to your belly, your full, your full, like that egg shaped uh, abdominal bowl there, right? That sits into your pelvic bowl and goes all the way up into your upper diaphragm, that space between at the bottom of your rib cage, you know, and, and wherever it feels like it needs to go for you. If it's different for you, that's fine. And let your heart face this space with love and compassion. And saying to your belly, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. And so you may be asking yourself, why am I apologizing? What am I sorry for? See if it feels right for you. To just, you know, we've all disconnected from our bellies. We shove all of our intense emotions into our bellies, right? Our, like we said, the fear, the shame, the guilt, the worry, the anger, the uh, all our insecurities that we hold there. And then we shut the door and disconnect from them so that we can get on with life. So if it feels okay for you, let the I'm sorry be about the disconnection. Let the I'm sorry be about the disconnection. And as a prayer, let the Ho'oponopono prayer be an intention of reconnecting and coming into connection and wholeness. Healing means to make whole. To heal means to make whole. Right, so you're coming into healing and wholeness, reconnecting with your belly space. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. And I want to say that one more time because I recognize my inflection on the I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. And again, being in that place of witnessing and acceptance as is, not trying to change but inviting it to really receive, like saying your words with intention and inviting this whole belly space as its own, as its own energy, as its own energy body, inviting it to receive. Now I want to get into some specifics, right? Let's start with appearance. We have at some point in our lives held expectations that our bellies are supposed to look a certain way or not look a certain way or be a certain way that somehow that defines us as whether or not we're acceptable 
whether or not we're beautiful, whether or not we're worthy of love. So in any way that you may have held expectations, unrealistic expectations, or felt that your belly was in a shortcoming of your expectations, and somehow that affected who you are and your abilities to make your way in this world. Just hold your belly and say to your belly, I'm sorry for setting those expectations on you. I let that go. I'm sorry. I let that go. I accept you as you are. I accept you as you are. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. And let yourself take a big belly breath, deep breath into your belly. And as you exhale, I just let all of that go, all of those expectations, and they could be from your past, right? Just from through the years, your inner child lives in here. So through the years, anything that you've put on it that may still be held in the subconscious, just blow it out and let it go. And judgment. Anywhere where you've held judgment, right? Where you've put that disapproving judgment onto your belly space. To say to your belly, any times that I've judged you, turned away from you, from out of judgment, or put hatred into you, out of judgment. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And let yourself be returned back to that connection with this vital part of your being. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. And let the forgiveness really flow into that space, reconnecting you to yourself. Invite your whole belly space to receive that forgiveness. Please forgive me. I love you. I love you. And let that love connect you back to yourself. Back to all of the parts of yourself. Perfect and imperfect. Or perfectly imperfect, as the case may be. Or imperfectly perfect, as the case may be. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. I thank you. And the, be the belly can be like a big spaghetti bowl where things get twisted and turned in there and hidden. So any place where you've hidden your fears inside your belly. Just, you know, for this one, just really call on your source and ask for help. Ask for help from all the angels, the prophets, the healers, the helpers, the guides, all who are here supporting you and helping you on your earth journey. Ask for their help to help you to let go of those fears. And again, turn to your belly. Say, I release these fears. I release these fears from my belly and asking for help from your source. Please release them from me and turn my reliance, turn my reliance to be on you. Release the fears from me, release me from my fears and turn my reliance to be on you. And breathe, big belly breath into your belly. And saying to your belly, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Right? Turning with sincerity to your own belly, please forgive me. Letting your belly space receive that, excuse me, receive that forgiveness. I love you. I thank you. And the worry. The places where we hide worry inside of our bellies. Again, calling to your source, asking for help. Right? Say, I ask you for your help from you, the prophets, the angels, the healers, the helpers, the guides, the teachers, all who are here to support you on your journey. Please release me from my worry and release this worry from my belly. And say to your belly, I release this worry from you. And allow your source and all of your healers to help you release that worry from your belly. And breathe big belly breath into your belly space. Release this worry and put your trust into the grand orchestrator, the creator and maker of all things. The one who knows you and loves you and cherishes you, cares for you, provides for you. Turn all of ears, worry, everything to just be face to face with your source. And let that love and that light and that compassion and that mercy flow right into this space and fill this space and calm those worries and fears release them from you and turn everything to be with your source and receive into your belly i'm sorry please forgive me please forgive me I love you. I thank you. Big belly breaths. And just feel the power of your source. If you can, the healing that flows through and just lights, like brings light, healing, light. Light is illuminating, it's cleansing, it's purifying. So let that light come in and cleanse your belly space. Let that love come in and cradle and soothe your belly space. Let that compassion come in and bring that security, connection, and acceptance into your belly space. And breathe out. Breathe out any of the tension and constriction. Anything that's ready to flow, breathe it out. And so let yourself rest deeper and deeper into your body, into your hips. And let's go to the guilt, feelings of guilt. It's a part of being human. We've all had them. Whether you've done things to deserve it or not. I say deserve. I'm sorry to use that word. Dog for law. Sorry for that. But whether you've done things to cause yourself to feel that guilt or whether it's just something that you have felt has been put on you. Let's bring that Ho'oponopono prayer in. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. And turning to your source, just ask, please help me to receive your forgiveness. Right? Turning to your source, I am sorry. Please forgive me. Please help me to receive your forgiveness. Because sometimes we can be so sincere in our asking for forgiveness 
but we want to continue to beat ourselves up and we don't allow ourselves to receive the forgiveness. So allow yourself to receive the forgiveness and let your belly receive this forgiveness. Receive. When we ask with sincerity, it is there in an instant. It's there before we ask. The asking for sincerity is for ourselves to help us to receive it. But be sincere in your asking. And ask directly from your source. Receive it into your heart and into your belly and into all of your being. And again, please help me to receive your forgiveness. Please release me from this guilt that I have carried. Please release these feelings of guilt from me and from my belly. And let yourself receive and again to your belly. The Ho'oponopono, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. I thank you. So you're receiving this healing from your source and you're reconnecting from your heart and your mind to your belly to reconnect yourself to that part of your body that is so vital to your mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual health, well-being, and inner unity, unification of yourself. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. I thank you. And for those feelings of shame, shame really gets twisted and hidden into the guts. That's the nature of shame. When we feel ashamed, we want to hide and we cave inward and things get pushed into the belly and caved inward and twisted up into the spaghetti bowl in there. This is shame. But as you turn to your source with your shame, your source is the one who knows you better than you know yourself. As my teacher used to say, don't stop with the outside pictures or voices or feelings, but go behind and behind and behind and behind and behind and behind and behind until you reach the truth. The truth is your being of pure light, that pure light that is within you. And everything that has happened has had some, some cause, right? Some cause and effect. Even though what comes from our source can be pure mercy and grace and everything has its purpose and its reason, that shame that we carry has had a cause and effect. Again, it doesn't define you. It doesn't make you who you are. It's not some product of you that is deserving to be shamed. Remember, your body keeps the score as your belly keeps the score. Your belly keeps the score as your body keeps the score. And we're here today to release these score pads, if you will, or the marks on the score pad. So turning directly to your source, I call on you and all of this team of helpers and healers and guides, on you, the all-knowing, on your source, the all-knowing who knows you better than you know yourself. Just take a breath into your belly and allow your source, the witness, and the all-knowing to see what is hidden within your own being and allow that light to come in, that light that is cleansing, that is purifying, that is healing, that is the light that is inside of you, that gives consciousness to your form, that gives you gives you life and life force energy in your own body. So let that come in. Allow that to come in and to see those places that are hiding inside of you. Allow it to witness your shame. 
and allow it to cleanse and purify i just saying to your source i turn this shame to you please release this shame from me and release me from my shame set me free from this which hides within me and holds me excuse me this which has been hidden within me and has held me in constriction i open this now i allow you to come in and to cleanse and purify this part of me and to release me from this and again let yourself rest deeper and deeper into your body receiving this love receiving this compassion receiving this healing light and this mercy and saying to your belly i'm sorry i'm sorry please forgive me i love you i thank you and let yourself be returned to that connection within yourself with your belly coming into connection and unity with your belly as your source and all of the healing forces are cleansing and purifying this from your body and big belly breath into your belly you can use your hands again to cradle your belly rub your belly whatever your belly needs if it needs some movement if it needs some sound you're welcome to bring that in bring that movement bring that sound bring that breath and let's call on anger no <laughs> let's excuse me for the anger because the belly is a big place where we hold a lot of anger a lot of fire so for all of the places where you've held anger and shoved anger into your abdominal cavity into your belly and held it there right stifled your throat to keep from expressing it held your breath to keep from shouting or screaming and stifled your anger held it in your belly again let's call on your source we call on you we ask for your help to release this anger the one who knows you better than you know yourself and let the cool mercy mercy is like rain it's like gentle cooling rain let this mercy the existential power of mercy let this flow into your belly and into your heart let it flow in let it come in and land into your belly space and let it cool the fire of the anger and let the steam just carry that anger right off of your belly and out of your body out of your field just asking for help from the prophets the angels the healers the helpers the guides and your source of course to release this anger from your belly and from all of the places of your, where it may hold constriction in your body take a full breath into your belly take a full breath into your heart space into your lungs and just let your rib cage expand and your belly expand your spine expand and let yourself make a sound with this one that if you can it can be very gentle very just primordial guttural it's whatever your body wants to say like a <laughs> can be an all-out screaming into a pillow or whatever you need to do release it and just let it go letting your source and all the powers the mercy the healing energies come in 
and the unconditional love coming in to fill that space, letting all of the space be filled with the existential unconditional love, healing all of your belly space. Letting that fill all of your abdominal cavity with love, compassion, acceptance, forgiveness, the pure light, the pure mercy, the pure compassion. And let yourself receive, receive and receive. And turning to your belly to reconnect with your belly. I am sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. I thank you. And take that breath and let that heart feel your heart connected with your belly space. And one more time for all insecurities that you hold, insecurities, the fears of vulnerability, any of that that you hold in your belly space. Again, call on your source. Call on your source, ask for help to release you from the insecurities, from the fears of vulnerability, from anything else that may be holding there that you're ready to release, that's ready to release from you. This trust in the wisdom of your source and your healing team, the knower, the clear truth, the one who holds the clear truth. Trust in their wisdom. Allow these things to be released as you breathe into your belly space. Let yourself receive, receive, receive. Whatever is needed to cleanse and purify and heal your belly space. Allow the, the clear truth. There is a uh, divine name, Al-Haq Al-Mubin. Al-Haq Al-Mubin, it's the H-A-Q-Q -Q is the transliteration for this word, the Arabic word, and that means the truth. Al-Haq Al-Mubin, it's M as in Mary, U, B as in boy, E, E, N as in Nancy, Mubin, Al-Haq Al-Mubin, the clear truth. So let your whole belly be flooded with the clear truth the clear truth releasing all of the old untruths the false old stuff that we've held there that we've stored inside the belly cavity letting anything that's left release and letting the clear truth fill that space Fill that space as it's filled with forgiveness, with love, with mercy, with compassion. And let yourself receive. Big belly breaths. Exhale to release anything that's left. Releasing anything that's left. And feel your low back. Just feel it release any tension that's held there. As you drop further in and land into your hips. And feel your heart connected with your belly. Feel the love and compassion for your belly. And as I said earlier, let's turn that gratitude toward your belly for all the vital functions that your belly, no matter what it has gone through with you in this life, it's been with you through the ups and downs, the thick and the thin, through everything that you've been through. And it has continued to function and provide all of this vital functioning for you, right? Your digestive system and all of your organs, right? They have a natural rhythm of expansion and contraction. You have peristaltic action along your digestive system that moves foods along from the time that you chew and swallow all the way along through your esophagus and into your belly. And then your belly actually has three different kinds of expansion, three different directions of expansion and contraction that it uses to then further break down and coat your foods, right? And then when it's ready, it ex expels it out into your small intestine, into your duodenum, which has its own peristaltic action and movement. 
end when it flows through your digestive system, your digestive tract, that peristaltic action continues to expand and contract to move your foods along as the nutrition is absorbed into your bloodstream from your foods and the waste and toxic materials are filtered and eliminated from your body. So incredible wisdom going on there and you don't even have to know about it, right? Well, it helps to know that you put the foods in and you um, put the foods into your body that can support your body, right? That your body can, can naturally work in alignment with, right? That's a different topic that we've covered at times and we'll continue to cover. But for now, just being in gratitude for the incredible wisdom that your belly holds and the incredible functions that it continues to perform because in addition to that peristaltic action, when food is going through, all of your organs have, you know, that's like a, you have mobility where you can move your body, but all of your organs have motility, which is their natural expansion and contraction that however slight or, or large it is, your body has constantly got that rhythm going through it that allows your organs to function and when we get really locked up and constricted from our emotions whether they're conscious or subconscious it can affect the body's ability to expand and contract and to maintain that natural rhythm and that natural flow and perform optimally for you so as you releasing all of this today for yourself really connect in love and compassion and in gratitude with your belly for the incredible job that it does to continue to support you and keep you alive and well and functioning in beautiful ways, right? As we said, through the thick and the thin and through the ups and the downs and through all of the expansions and contractions of your own life, your belly continues to expand and contract with you as do every little organ inside and all your cells and all of your tissues. So take that full breath. And if your body wants to have some movement, right? If your body wants to have some, let it, let it play. Let yourself feel the expansion and contraction of your spine, of your rib cage, of your tissues, of your organs, and of every, anything is however your body wants to move. Just let it have that move all the way, even up into your cranium, into your skull, which has even that has the ability to expand, and it does. It's in constant expansion and contraction. Everything within you is. That is the movement of life force energy, right? It's expanding and contracting. It's the movement of your physical body. It's the movement of your emotional body. It's the movement of your mental body. It's the movement of your spirit and your soul. So let your whole body have that expansion and contraction. If you feel like you want to move even a little bit more now than when you started today, as I do, <laughs> I hope that's the case for you. Let yourself have that breath and have that movement. All right. And again, let's just take one more full, gentle breath, breathing all of your energy into the center of your body. And as you exhale, drop down, land into your pelvic bowl, lean into your spine, breathe in that pure divine light, unconditional love, eternal compassion. And as you exhale, just let your energy fall into your hips, down your legs and into your feet. You can stretch out your feet, circle your ankles, stretch out your arms, circle your wrists, stretch out your fingers and your toes, and really feel your presence in your body, in your body. And I'll say, if you need more help with this, I know this can bring up stuff, right? It does, because we hold stuff. If it brought, has brought up something for you that you need support with, you're welcome to reach out for me. You can um, get on my calendar through my website, Community for Conscious Living, or schedulewithdebra.com if you want to get on my calendar. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this part of the meditation, and we'll open for Q&A. If you're on the website, I mean, I'm sorry, if you're on <laughs> on Facebook, there's a link there that you can click to join us on the website or the phone. 
If you're listening to the recording, you're invited to join us live on Sundays at 10 a.m. U.S. Eastern Time, 7 a.m. U.S. Pacific Time. You can find information for joining us live at communityforconsciousliving.com, communityforconsciousliving.com. While you're there, sign up to receive the reminders and replays. And when you do, you'll receive two free gifts. One is a download of a 10 Spiritual Principles of Our Human Existence. It's a one sheet that you can look at to remind you of who you are, what you are, what this life journey is about, why we're here, and help you to return to that connection with yourself. It also has a 15-minute downloadable guided meditation to help you to connect with that pure divine light, unconditional love, and eternal compassion that is the truth of who you are at the core of your beautiful light being. All right, with that, I thank you very much for being here today. Ending now the live stream and opening for Q&A.